Sikuno, Jiri Kuani, I am Mokama, Kunsukuno, Vari Kuani, I am Katonda Evale, Yevale, Katonda Evale, Yevale, Yakumava Sanga, Emilia Major, Yakumava Sanga. We take this opportunity on behalf of St. Martin's Angelic Voices to say thank you. And we want to appreciate Father Aloysius Gonzaga for having trained us and pushed us to this level. So on behalf of St. Martin's Angelic Voices, we all say thank you. Abantu babu za mkama wafe, tukolechi okuingira obwa kabaka obo mugulu. Echi echibu zono, wede mu ansa ya acho. Tulieno ku St. Austin Catholic Parish in Nairobi. Ngatuze mchitambilo cha misa, echo kweba za katonda. Olue chilabo, chobu diankoni, echi adinkoni Fabia saliganyira. Onono mwana anzaula ye kabale, neinga muna Uganda. Echigochi no wenyi midi de chia sokera dala oktandi kibuao ba white father zi wanomu e Kenya. Again an octule mira much time bilucha misa. Your reverend father Lozias Gonzaga onono ya koli rako wano pastro waka owa owokwe gezamu mochigochi no. Again akubanga yambi wako reverend father Lozias Gonzaga Mosukulumu onona yen twazena ye o kuvamu Uganda. Naba sasa doti abalala awamu na umugole wa fe katuta andike echita ambilo cha misa. Sunday of the ordinary year C. And the message of our readings today is calling us to be good stewards to whatever we are entrusted to by God. For the many times you and me have fallen and failed to fulfill the duties that God gave us through our words and actions, let us call to mind our sins and we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, Mary of Hardy, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting.
for silver. A reading from the book of prophet Amos. I hear this, you who trample upon the needy and bring the poor of the land to the end, saying, when will the new moon be over that you may sell like grain and the Sabbath that you may offer wheat for sale, that you may make the elephant small and the shekel great, and deal deceitfully with the false balances, that you may buy the poor for silver and the needy for pair of sandals, and the sale refuse, refuse of the wheat, the Lord has sworn by the pride of Jacob, surely I, I will never forget any other deeds the word of the Lord. Responsive Psalm, responses, praise the Lord who raises the poor from the dust. Praise the Lord who raises the poor from the dust. Praise the Lord who raises the poor from the dust. Praise the Lord who raises the poor from the dust. Praise O servant of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed, both now and forever, forevermore. Response. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens is glory. Who is, who is like the Lord our God, who dwells on high, who lowers himself to look down upon heaven and earth? Response. From the dust he lifts up the lowly. From the ash heap he raises the poor, to set them in the company of princes. Yes, with the princes of his people. Response. Praise the Lord who raises the poor from the dust. Second reading. Prayers should be made for all men to God who desires all men to be saved. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, first of all, I ask that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for all men. For king and all who are in high position, that we may lead quiet and peaceable life, godly and respectful in every way. This is good, and it is acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God, and there is one meditator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all, the testimony to which was given at the proper time. For this I was appointed a preacher and apostle. I am telling the truth, I am not lying. A teacher of the, of the Gentiles in faith and truth. I desire then that in every place the men should pray, lifting holy hands without anger and quarreling. The word of the Lord. I do rise for gospel acclamation.
At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, There was a rich man who had a steward, and charges were brought to him that this man was wasting his goods. And he called him and said to him, What is this that I hear about you? Turn the account of your stewardship, for you can no longer be a steward. And the steward said to himself, What shall I do? Since my master is taking the stewardship away from me, I'm not strong enough to do, and I'm ashamed to bear. I have decided what to do, so that people may receive me into their houses when I'm put out of the stewardship. So, summoning his master's debtors one by one, he said to the first, How much do you owe my master? He said, A hundred measures of oil. And he said to him, Take your bill and sit down quickly and write fifty. Then he said to another, And how much do you owe? He said, A hundred measures of wheat. He said to him, Take your bill and write eighty. The master commanded and the dishonest steward his prudence. For the sons of this world are wiser in their own generation than the sons of the light. And I tell you, make friends for yourselves by means of a righteous mouth, so that when it fails, they may receive you into the eternal habitations. He who is faithful in every little faithful also in much. And he who is dishonest in every little is dishonest also in much. If then you have not been faithful in the unrighteous man, who will you entrust to you the true riches? And if you have not been faithful in that which is another's, who will give you that which is your own? And serve to masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will de be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and Mammon. The Gospel of the Lord. The Lord is good, and all the time, and that is His nature. Mungu ni muema, na kila wakati, kwa muka mamuru unji, kwa budewo na. Aha, now the spirit has come. We are on Pentecost, right? Don't mind whether you understand or not. We are meaning the same thing, okay? Okay, we are privileged today, and you allow me to thank God and congratulate you and all of us for allowing us to come back here as priests. I myself and the Father Gaudens Mayembe. <laughs> that much we shall uh, go after the Mass. Today, the Mother Church celebrates the 25th Sunday of the ordinary year C. And the message of the readings today is about stewardship. You are entrusted to something and at the end of the day you will have to give an account. And the question of today is all that you are entrusted to how far have you gone? And once the owner comes as we've heard from the gospel how 
will you give your account at the end of the day? There was a story of a younger man who did a crime and he was taken to prison. And he was charged to bring about one million shilling Kenyan money. That task was for the father. And the father went and sold the lorry he had together with the cow to come and rescue the boy who was put in jail. And so when they were brought, they had to pay the money and the father paid the money. By the time he put it on the table, the boy was brought and then later he was released to go with the father. And unfortunately, in the absence of a policeman, this boy picked the money and the father also did not see. And on their way, as they were going back, the father was talking to the son and told him, look, now you have made me poor. The lorry that I was been using to get money, I saw that I can rescue your life. And so I'm poor. I urge you never to do anything that will put you in jail. And the, father, the boy started smiling. And when he smiled, the father slapped him seriously because he's laughing on a serious what? on a serious matter. And later the boy was able to answer the father to say, my father, don't get worried. The money that you brought, I stole it and I have it here. It is. If you are the father at that time, what do you do? Do you take this boy back? Do you forgive him? Do you accept the money that you also become a criminal? It is a question of reflection today. We are entrusted to many things, dear friends in Christ, but we are in a situation where life has become so complex to an extent that even the little that we are supposed to take care of has become so challenging, just like the boy with the father. And in so doing, the message of our readings today is a reflection of stewardship. What we are entrusted to do, how much do we do it, and how positive do we take what we are supposed to do in life. The message of the first reading today, Prophet Amos is giving us a way to go and is reminding us from the situation of the time whereby the leaders of the time we are stepping on the lives of the poor. We are stepping on the lives of those they were taking care of. And it came a moment whereby it, they could even sell their own lives, the lives of the poor and the lives of those who were marginalized in that time. And so, at the end of the reading, God is warning them and is still warning us too because we are moving in the same society as Amos lived. He will never forget any of their deeds. Who is a steward? Do you think he's the president of Kenya? Do you think he's just the governor or somebody in the big office? Probably not. You are also a steward. You are entrusted a family you are entrusted a duty, you are entrusted a congregation. And the question of today is, how far have you gone? And in case the owner of that work comes to ask you for the account. In so doing, we come to discover that be being Christians and being situated, situated is not something difficult. If you want a family, you get a partner and you get it. If you want to become a priest, you go in a seminar and study, and God bless you, and you become one like myself. If you want to be a president, you go for election. If you want to be a moderator of a certain group in the church, you go for election and you are voted for. Becoming is very easy, but being the person you are voted for to be is also another thing. And in so doing, God created us to be good stewards in his vineyard. But for the many times we have failed to fulfill our duty, God is ever observing. For the poor that we step on, for the marginalized that we don't take care of, God is assuring you and me, in the case you are stepped on one day, that is ready to raise your life and to raise the poor from the dust. And in so doing, make a reflection of the many times people have stepped on you and God has ever been there for you as well. Take a reflection of the many people you have stepped on and you come to discover that God has been there for them and they've never been the way you thought them to be. 
Christ is giving us another figure of a steward. This is a younger man whose work came to an end. And when the work came to an end, he was so wise, probably like the other boy. He saw that his life in the work is coming to the end. And so he was not ready to lose the, to lose the friendship in the people, to lose friendship in the friends. And in the same way, it is a call to all of us, dear friends. Many are the times we seek friendship from God. We seek the love of God. But in few are the times we pay attention to the horizontal love, to the horizontal friendship. This boy is not praised for, or the man is not praised for by God or Christ. He's not praising him because of his dishonest work. But he's praising him because... He did not use what was his, but he used what was for the master to make sure that the friendship that he had with the people continue in life. We need these people that we stay with. And so, do you, it is very possible that even the person you are seated with, you don't know him or her. Maybe you have not even made an, an eye look. Do you mind to look at that person on your left and right? Some are looking at me. No. Probably that is the first person that you have to take care of. The first person that you have to love. The first person that you have to make friends with. That as you leave this church, you will know that I left the church at least with a friend. And so as situates, we must know, dear friends in Christ, that this world is not ours. For the many things that we have are for God. And so just like this young man, we have to use them for the sanctification of others, for the support of others, for raising their life as well, just to reach the level where we are. And this is exhibited as we read in the book of Job chapter 1 verse 21, where he's informing us, and we know his story. He made a statement, naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I shall return. The question of today is, all that you have, do you think it is yours? I believe not. It is for God. And if it is for God, then have I and have you used it for the support of the person who is in need? And this is a call for Pope Francis. Dear friends in Christ, we have heard. When this younger man left the boss, the master, he went, alienda alichanganya maneno, alichanganya pesa, alichanganya kila kitu. But for you who is entrusted to God's creation, I assure you, you will never be able to hide from God. He's ever watching you, he's ever watching me. So whatever that I'm interested in, I must and you must take care of it without hiding. So we cannot hide anything from God. And we automatically connect with the vertical friendship. That's why a few Sundays ago, when this younger man who knew the law came to Jesus and asked him, what can I do to inherit the kingdom of God? And what does it say? Love your God with all your heart, with all your plan, with everything. Uh huh. The second statement, love your, with what we had last Sunday. The three parables we had, the lost son, the lost sheep, and the lost coin. The many things that we are gathering, I think the few that we are not taking care of, that's what God wants us to pay attention to. And let us not forget, dear friends, that whenever we do charity to our brothers and sisters, whenever we fulfill our duty, as human beings, as creatures of God, God pay us back and he will never let us go. It is what we get in Matthew chapter 25, verse 34 to 36, where he said, I was hungry and you fed me. I was thirsty and you gave me a drink. I was naked and you clothed me. I was in prison and you visited me. Dear friends, how many times do we pay attention to what God has put in our midst? Let us pray, following the message of the second reading, where Paul is asking us to pray for the leaders. Let us pray for our parents, children. Let us pray for our leaders in the countries. Let us pray for our priests. Let us pray for all those who are above us. Let us pray for our employers, that God may install his spirit in them to lead us and to give us all that we need, and above all, freedom. What you want to do, what you want in life, just know that your neighbor also is in need of the same thing. And let us not forget that he said, whenever you do good for others, he will always stand with you. 
Remember, as I conclude, that what you received freely, you ought to give it freely. To be a good steward, we need to follow the antiphon we have heard, the gospel antiphon, which is a good statement for our week to reflect upon. Though Christ was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, so that by his poverty you may become rich. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, and to do. When I was hungry, you helped me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. Now enter into the home. Father. The Lord be with you. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Father calls us to love him and to serve him wholeheartedly, since he is our God, but we, because of our human frailty, are often tempted to love and to serve Mammon. Let us ask the Father to strengthen our love for him and to serve us, to save us from being enslaved by Mammon. As we say, Lord, save us. Let us pray for the whole church that she may take up the courage and enthusiasm, the ministry, the missionary challenge, so that all men and women may be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. We pray, Lord, save us. For our Pope Francis, bishops and clergy who are appointed like Saint Paul to be apostles and teachers that they may guide the church along the ways of God in faithfulness and integrity. We pray for all baptized, that we may serve the Lord, our only master, wholeheartedly, using the gifts we have received from God's providence to create communion and solidarity with the poor. We pray for the political leaders of the world, that they may reject the new idolatry of money and a thirst for wealth that knows no limit and work instead for the building of a more human society. We pray for the poor and those who are oppressed that we may respect them and uphold their rights against the economy which has placed mammon as the idol uh, it, the idol it serves. We pray for those who are homeless and have no land that their cry for help may be heard and that the church and all people of goodwill 
May you defend them against those who evict them from their land. We pray for our Christian community that we may not allow the love of mammon to control our life, but rather be faithful servants of God, the only master whom we serve. We pray. And in a moment of silence, let us all present our personal intentions to God. We pray to the Lord. Let us now entrust our prayers and petition to the maternal care of Mother Mary, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners now. We lift up our hands in prayer to you, O Lord and God, and intercede for the church, the world, and all those who are in need of your salvation, so that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life, serving you in holiness and justice all our days, through Christ our Lord.
may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. Receive with the favor, O Lord, we pray, the offering of your people, that what they profess with the devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts, lift them up, the Lord. let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to the right and just our duty and our salvation, O oh, raise and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being and world in the His body. We not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of your Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we are claim. In a 
similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, said a blessing and gave the chance to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Yeah. celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son and his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body and one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and the glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis, our Pope, Philip Anyola, Bishop, David Kamau's auxiliary, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have got summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather out yourself to your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven. May your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are you. Now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in the accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share the sign of peace.
down your precepts to be carefully kept. May we, may my ways be firm in keeping your statutes. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O oh Lord, those you renew in this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. a letter, the parents and godparents of the candidates of confirmation take note of that key meeting on Sunday 2nd at 1 p.m. inside this church. I wish now to invite Good afternoon parishioners. Um, yesterday we had the central dinners and we took six items, that is the set piece, the choral verse, the own composition, modern dance, traditional dance, and spoken word. From the six items, we were able to get position one. In <laughs> and unfortunately, um, we were to present, but we'll present the set piece next week, because we are still practicing. Um, in the remaining... And from the 12 parishes that we had in the central deanery, we were able to become position one. And now we are moving to the zonal level. Your support and your prayers. Without you, we wouldn't be where we are. We are also encouraging the youths that are here. Please join us. It's a good team. You learn a lot. Father Gonzaga, pardon. This is for spoken word, position one. And we have the set piece, position one, two. And this was the trophy for the day, position one of Baron. That's all, oh, plus the certificates. So that is all, and thank you very much. Thank you. So we continue to encourage many young So I'm here briefly to uh, do some introductions. We have Father Aloysius Gonzaga, the senior. We have Aloysius Gonzaga, who is the main celebrant, and Father Aloysius Gonzaga, who is the senior from Uganda. So he has come to support uh, Deacon Fabius, who was ordained yesterday. Deacon, you can stand. <laughs> and also to join Father Aloysius Gonzaga and Father Gaudens, who have come back here to thank you all. We saw especially Father Aloysius come as a young seminarian, He's the one who has trained that choir for the longest time I can remember. <laughs> and as you can testify, it's a very powerful choir. It's not a simple choir. Those who have not joined, you missed a lot. So we encourage many other people to join the choir and to continue praising God. Because when you sing well, you pray, you pray twice. That is the wisdom of singing. So I will uh, invite uh, Father Gaudens to give their vote of thanks and then they will tell you where they have been posted and where they will be working and then we pray for their safety, safe journey and God's blessings for the mission they are going to undertake. And before I finish, I have some visitors from the University of Nairobi. God is good and all the time. So on behalf of my dear brother, Father Aloysius Gonzaga, and myself, we are here to express our sincere gratitude to God for priesthood. This was the first time that we celebrated Mass at St. Austin. We used to be here as deacons, but by God's grace, we were ordained priests in May, and we thought of coming back and say thank you to God. 
but also we would like to thank you, the St. Austin's fraternity, St. Austin's family, for your love and for your support and for your prayers. Many people traveled to Tanzania and some went to Uganda for our priesthood ordination. Such was a great love. We thank you very much and we promise to keep on praying for you and also you pray for us. Myself, I've been appointed to Kenya, specifically the Diocese of Nakuru, Margat. You are most welcome to Margat when you pass by Nakuru. You are most welcome. Thank you and God bless you all. The Lord is good and all the time, and that is His nature. Yes, in the morning I told them, 2018 I entered here as a seminarian to train the choirs. 2021 I entered this church as a deacon. 2022 I have entered the church as a priest. And 2024, <laughs> I will still be a priest. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you very much, in addition to what Brother Gaudens has said for your support. Indeed, you have supported us, you have helped us to grow and to achieve and to reach the altar of God as priests. We assure you that we are ready to serve and we are going to serve God wherever we are sent. But we ask you, as Paul asked us in the second reading, to pray for us. It is not an easy ministry, but with your prayers, God will bless us and we shall continue to serve him in the ministry. Personally, I have been sent to Congo, Brazzaville, that's where I'm going to speak French and Lingala. Coming back, I'll be another time. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and you are most welcome there uh, to serve that side. I also add my voice to thank the choir members above others who came to Uganda for my ordination. Thank you very much and for that love. We shall continue to love you and to pray for you as well. The word I wish, I wish to leave for all of you today and which will help you throughout the week is... We entered here because we wanted to become priests and we wanted to serve God. Where you are seated now, pray that before you leave this church at whichever year we, I don't know, you will have got what you want in life. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. Let that be your prayer. And the question comes, do you have a seat that people will say he or she used to sit there? At least for the four years I have been here, I saw Polycarp's family here in front every Sunday. What about you? Amen. So I wish you God's blessings and I ask you to go back and look into your accounts as a steward, as a manager of God's creation. And after realizing you will come to discover that you only need to be a good steward, you only need to be a good servant, and you only need to be a good person to all the people you are entrusted to. I wish you God's blessing and I ask you to raise for the final blessing. Deacon Fabius was ordained yesterday together with other eight. We pray for them and they have been sent to us for the ministry in different parishes. He's from Uganda also. And I cannot fail to show you my mother. I cannot do that. Mama, kakusavu jekua. Masu. Aha. Those who used to suffer the Lodias, now you can see my mother. Chuko, but no lideko. We look alike, not so? Okay. She's my mother, she has taken care of us since she lost the husband, the dear one, for about 20 plus years ago. You can also do it. Amen. Mama Sololo Koda, you can clap for her. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you now and forever. This mass is ended.
Katonda tubadde wano ku St Austin wano e Nairobi ngatubadde mu kitambiro kya miso ekyo kwebaza olwe kirabo kya Reverend Dinkon Arosias Fabius tumwebaza omukama okulabanga amwadde ekirabo kino kyo kubera omudyankoni mbadde ne kwaya ensufu mu bauli denga bayimba olulimi oluganda <laughs> kerezia ngawe nakutegezeza kerezia ngaga Buli wogenda kerezia eba yomu Obalabi wano vana feba na Kenya Bogera olumi wabu olukulu Luswairi Nima vadeba imba Nga beba zomu kama olu imbo olu Nti katonda yeba le Yeba le nyo Tuweba za nyumu ina Aba tuweba seko mchitambilu cha misa chino Echo kuweba za Tuweba za ni kuwa ye no jola ba ensufu Bambi ba imba bulonji Mweba lenyo, mweba, mweba lile dala. Tetugenda kusuka kwa wano. Timu jenini jetu. Aba tukule mbede chitambilo cha misa. Your reverend Rosia Sgonza. Ya tukule mbede chitambilo cha misa. Nga yambi wako. Omudianko ni wafe. Fabius Ariganyira. Ne timu yona jetu watambude na ye Uganda. Ne faza Rosia Sgonza. Na ye abadeo okubera nga abugiriza. Mchitambilo cha misa chino. Tubeba zizanyo wa wadeba tugolwele la tubade wano kusenti ostini e Nairobi. Mbaga liza ona kolulunji. Mubele bulonji ata kumira ampera. Aba kumira sinka ne sande jio. Akume owe chitibwa. Mbade ne mubiru ibra ya wade kukamera. Mweba lenyo mweba lile dala aba wade batu golwele la. Ante wa uli ya kuwaya nsufu nyo okutu imbira haka imba kanka balekele baka marilize.
Katonda tubadde wano ku St Austin wano e Nairobi nga tubadde mu kitambiro kya miso ekyo kwebaza olwe kirabo kya Reverend Dinkon Arosias Fabius tumwebaza omukama okulabanga amwadde ekirabo kino kyo kubera omudyankoni mbadde ne kwaya ensufu mu bauli denga bayimba olulimi oluganda <laughs> kerezia nga we nakutegezeza kerezia ngaga Buli wogenda kerezia eba yomu Obalabi wano vana fiba na Kenya Bogera olumi wabu olukulu Luswairi Nima vadeba imba Nga beba zomu kama olu imbo olu Nti katonda yeba le Yeba le nyo Tuweba za nyumu ina Aba tuweba seko mchitambilu cha misa chino Echo kuweba za Tuweba za ni kuwa ye no jola ba ensufu Bambi ba imba bulonji Mweba lenyo, mweba, mweba lile dala. Tetugenda kusuka kwa wano. Tia mwenye nini njetu. Aba tukule mbede chitambilo cha misa. Your reverend Rosia Sgonza. Ya tukule mbede chitambilo cha misa. Nga yambi wako. Omudianko ni wafe. Fabius Ariganyira. Ne timu yona njetu watambude na ye Uganda. Ne faza Rosia Sgonza. Na ye abadeo okubera nga abugiriza. Mchitambilo cha misa chino. Tubeba zizanyo wa wadeba tugolwele la tubade wano ku St. Austini e Nairobi. Mbagali za ona kolulunjede. Nemobiru ibra ya wade kukamera. Mweba lenyo mweba lile dala awa wade batu golwele la. Ante wa uli la kwaya nsufu nyo okutu imbira haka imba kanka balekele baka marilize. So on behalf of St. Martin's Angelic Voices, we all say, thank you. Thank you. 